the behaviors I think that, that we find most challenging with our kids is in a certain sense, I would turn that the other way around and, and talk about about how, how we understand what behavior is. Because for me, behavior is nothing more than communication. When a kid acts out, um, or when they're happy, you know, that, that's fine too, of course. Um, they're, they're trying to tell us something. If they're acting out, if they're pushing back, they're trying to tell us something. Very often, life is out of whack for them. And what, what I try to hold on to as a parent is that when, when, when they're being, you know, when they're being difficult or defiant, it's actually much worse for them. We often forget that, that it's way worse for them um, than it is for us. Living inside their skin at that moment is awfully tough. And as I write about in the Soul of Discipline book, I've never met a disobedient child in all my life. Um, I've only ever met a disoriented one. And I, I don't mean that just to be semantics, just a nice way of putting things. Because uh, I've, I've worked with kids with behavioral difficulties for over 30 years. But what I see is kids who are disoriented. And when they act out, if we can understand that they're trying to orient themselves, they're almost like they're echolocating us. They're pushing out against us. And it's almost like they're lost, they're disoriented, and they push back against us because we're the safest thing in their lives. It's almost like a compliment, a weird kind of compliment um, that, that, that they are acting out towards us. And if we can understand that, and this, this is something that many parents have spoken to me about over the years, and also, um, you know, our Simplicity Parenting coaches as well. We have approaching a thousand coaches all around the world. So we get a lot of feedback from a lot of different cultures. And if we can understand that kids are pushing out against us they're, they're, um, because they're lost, they're, they're basically trying to find themselves and that's why the behavior comes up, then something pretty important happens is that we don't take it personally anymore. It's really, if you can look at a child and say, I wonder what's up, why are you, why are you being so you know, defiant, oh my goodness, what is going on for you? If we can say that inside ourselves, I mean an inner narrative, if we can ask, look at a child and be inquisitive rather than accusative and, and wonder what's going on for them, it leads us out of taking it personally and it leads us out of those old kind of negative, grooved in, Inter sort of action reaction patterns which very few parents want to get into. It just doesn't feel very good at all.